Hey there peoples. Okay, so today I am doing a hair tutorial. I am going to do a uh, two uh, two different hairstyles that go together, kind of. So I'm going to start the first one. It's going to be end of like this. It's just um, taking like half the hair and braiding it and pulling it back. And just leave like that. And then the second braid, I'm going to take the bottom half of the hair, braid that, and then intertwine with this one. So let's get started with the first hair set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my just take part of my top layer of hair. So that much of hair. So you want to go from like the start of the hairline would be on from your like forehead and go across. And then take all that hair. Oops, missed the piece. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna pull all this hair to the side, and then I'm going to pull it back. Take about an inch of hair right here. That much. It's gonna be like a little triangle. That's what I like to do. You can have it straight across if you want to for that hairline. And all we're going to do is start French braiding. So if you don't know how to French braid, so you separate, let me t teach you how to so separate into three like you do in normal braid. Just start normal braiding for the, the first part. So once you get like two strands like underneath each other, you're going to take this outer strand over here, pick up a piece from underneath, put it into that outer strand, and then just normal braid into it. And then we're going to take a piece from the outer part, add it to the outer piece, and then just braid normally to it. So all you're doing is picking up pieces and adding them to the outer parts. So you're going to leave the middle alone. Don't add anything in the middle, just the outer parts of the strands. I'm just going to keep doing that until we get to about the ear. So about the top of the ear we're going to stop. Make sure you have your hair hold like in a backwards motion because we want to take it back. And then once all you're done there, just normal braid down. Then we're about top of the ear. So I'm going to do is take a clear elastic and seal that off. And take out this hair. That's back. And that's the first part of the hairstyle. So this is the first hairstyle you can wear. It's very easy and simple. And I think it looks pretty. So yeah, that's the first hairstyle. And now we're on to the next one. So for the next one, what we're going to do, I'm going to leave this hair off. So I'm going to put this so I don't grab anything. You could also do this, like pull it back until you point it and leave it like that if you want to. It's a little cute. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that today. So, so what you're going to do is take this piece over here. So we should like straighten that out. No, that didn't help. <laughs> Let's take this piece out. There we go. And that piece. So we're going to take about an inch of hair hair and we're going to do the same thing we did here so I'm just normal braid pick up pieces and 
I like the first raid because you can do that in two minutes and be done with your hair. You're like, okay, I'm done. It's pretty easy. It's one of those easy, like, lazy day hairstyles I like. Okay. So now... We've gotten to the braid part where I so but for the outer piece I'm not I'm only pull this braid into the inner corner and into the inner inner piece towards the face. So from the outer piece I'm gonna take the back and pull it in across so we hide that elastic. And then we're just gonna start pulling from the braid like piece by piece, little pieces, not all of it. If you don't wanna do all of that, so I'm just braid it in. Another piece to hide the elastic. Take another piece from that braid. Add it in. Piece from the outer back. And braid it in. We're going to keep taking pieces from the braid until we're finished with it. And then I'm just going to secure that with the hair tie that matches my hair color. You could also use a clear elastic if you want to, but I'm not going to today because my hair is dark enough that it blends in. So it shouldn't end up something like that where you have it right here, right here, and the intertwine, which I think is really pretty. It like adds a little like style to it. So yeah. it's just a little French braid and it keeps intact. If you have any pieces that dangle down, you can always pin them up. Like I need to. <laughs> I'm gonna take it by him and pin that into place.